Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this sad, boring um, TV cabinet and transforming it into a crazy, fancy uh, boho piece with the help of Dixie Bell Paint and also wax gel stained tobacco road our favorite and the lovely stencil for the drawer side so stay with us if you want to see how we did it let's do it i started off by cleaning this piece with white lightening dixie bells furniture cleaner as usual this is the most important step then i rinsed the whole piece uh, with water to get rid of the solution I applied slick stick on the handles so the paint will stick properly to the metal. I prepared a mix of limeade, this delicious light yellow with a hue of green in it, along with the sea spray to create texture. I added about 6 spoons of paint and sea spray to get a quite heavy texture. I used a cheap brush to apply it as texture additive is a brush destroyer so I just used an old cheap brush. I did this all over the piece, even on the handlers, but I left the top uh, untouched at the moment. There was no real plan with this piece, we just knew that green and pink will look amazing together and that we love drips and we just started the piece. I applied texture all over the piece. We let it dry for about 2-3 hours as it was um, quite a thick layer. Uh, meanwhile I prepared a custom color. I wanted like a brighter crazy green so I combined yellow, uh, colonel mustard with tree frog green and a bit of uh, pure ocean. And it turned out like this, it's delicious. I work on the drawers, here I kinda knew what will be going on, drips. I started by applying limeade paint on the top of the drawer, around the handlers, uh, on the areas where I wanted some highlights. Now bringing in um, our custom color, I applied it mostly on the bottom corners and then I spread it towards the center, slightly blending it with the limeade. Don't worry about the perfect blending, we are just playing around um, anyway, there will be drips over this blend, but um, we just did this to get some shade variation. Then I came with a bit of tree frog green on the corners as I wanted to create um, some shadows. Last I want to do a color wash with tree frog green. So I mixed uh, three spoons of um, paint with a bit of water to get like um, the consistency. I applied it all over the drawers and then I missed out the paint uh, from the top and I let it do its thing, drip in peace while moving to work on another part. I just love drips, can't wait to see how this turn out. I applied the two greens mostly on the corners and the edges to create shadows and in the middle I tried to leave some of the limeade peeking through and of course blending them with the best hand brush. The whole time while I was doing this blend I was thinking to do some more drips but uh, it would have been like too much together with the drippy drawers so just so happy with this uh, green blend. 
On the bottom part, I was thinking to stick with a blend as well, but then I said to give it a try and see how it will look with drips. And good, I love it. Now it's time for some dry brushing. I did dry brushing with Three Frog Green on every edge and I also did dry brushing on the drawers edges and corners to create shadows and just make those bright colors and drips in the middle to stand out more. I prepared a custom shade of green and I combined a trifro green with palmetto and we got triletto and take a little amount of paint on the brush then wipe it on a piece of cloth to get rid of um, the excess and I did dry brushing same as the tree frog on every edge and corner but I kept in mind not to completely cover the, the tree frog so this is going to be like a soft dry brushing. I painted the handlers in pink using peony first and then guess what? drips, more drips. I wet the area under the handler and I applied peony with an artist brush and then I wet it again and let it drip. Then I came with some more peony just to intensify that pink a little more. We will be applying Voodoo Gel Stain in shade Tobacco Road, our favorite. Wet the brush or sponge or pad and let this delicious magic happen. I apply it from one side to another, then uh, let it dry for about 15 minutes and again applying the second layer to darken it up a little bit more. A darker color will look amazing with the green bottom. It's the first time applying Voodoo Gel Stain with a brush and I can tell that I prefer the pad or the sponge in this situation. I like it better. I also used gel stain on the drawer side and once it has dried I applied the lotus bloom stencils and I just used the bottom part of the pattern for some boho vibes. Uh, I stick it with some tape and then I dubbed it peony, such a lovely detail. And now best then wax in black which gave those bright greens an antique look. I applied wax all over the piece and after 15 minutes I buffed off the excess with a piece of cloth. I applied three layers of gator hide on the top and I let it dry in between coats for about two hours. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you like this uh, tutorial or it inspired you in any way. See you next time, bye!